Hi and welcome back. So it would have been very easy for me to just list my 10 favorite longevity supplements or the supplements that I think are going to be big in 2024. But that would have been full of all kinds of horrible bias. So what I did was asked AI to scrape through all of YouTube and look for the most popular longevity supplements that were mentioned in YouTube videos in 2023. But then to predict which ones will still be around, but more importantly, gaining traction in 2024. To get a more robust, all-encompassing answer, I asked three separate AI programs for their top longevity anti-aging supplements. I then correlated those results to come up with an aggregated top 10. What was interesting was that all the AI answers wrote a caveat around the popularity of supplements and that their effectiveness and safety may not always be supported by robust scientific evidence. I did not ask AI to rank them, just to list them. So for the instant gratification freaks, who already jump past this part of the video to see what is number one at the end. Disappointment awaits you. Enough waffling off me, let's jump straight in. Now I also wrote as part of the prompt, write two sentences that describe why each supplement is considered important to the anti-aging field. Let's start with the obvious one, NMN. Research has shown that NMN helps replenish declining NAD levels associated with aging, potentially improving cellular function and mitigating some age-related physiological declines. Studies to date have shown promising results, indicating that NMN may enhance physical performance, improve metabolic health, and possibly extend lifespan, although more research is definitely needed. Next is another longevity favorite, resveratrol, often linked with the health benefits of red wine. It's thought to activate the sirtuins that are linked to increased lifespan. It has also been shown to promote hormesis. Hormesis is a biological process with a beneficial effect that results from exposure to a low dose of a specific agent, which may be harmful at higher doses. Often summarized as what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hormesis involves a cellular response to a mild stress that leads to adaptive beneficial effects. Next, AI listed senolytics, but they classed this as a drug, even though I only asked it for supplements. AI defined it as a longevity class of drugs rather than a specific supplement, which are designed to target and eliminate senescent cells. These cells, also known as zombie cells, have stopped dividing and technically are considered dead, but still ooze harmful materials into our bloodstream and organs. AI listed both quercetin and fisetin as examples of natural compounds that are being explored for their senolytic properties. Now, AI once again ignored my request for supplements and this time listed metformin. This is a drug under prescription in many countries around the world. Originally a medication for type two diabetes, metformin of late has gained much attention for its potential longevity benefits. Miles and TAME are too specific metformin longevity studies. Some researchers believe it may influence age-related pathways to the extent that Brian Johnson of the Brian Johnson Blueprint Project, as part of his huge supplement list, takes two grams of metformin every day. Then we have omega-3 fatty acids. Their potential longevity benefits are chiefly due to their anti-inflammatory and cardioprotective properties. Regular consumption of omega-3 is associated with a reduced risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, and potentially some forms of cancer. Additionally, omega-3 fatty acids are believed to support brain health, potentially reducing the risk of age-related cognitive decline and age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's, thereby contributing to a longer lifespan and hopefully health span. Now, I wasn't expecting the next one to make the list, that being curcumin. This is the active compound found in turmeric, known for its potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which play a significant role in promoting longevity. By reducing systemic inflammation and combating oxidative stress, curcumin may mitigate age-related chronic diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and even Alzheimer's. Emerging research indicates that curcumin also influences cellular aging processes, such as telomere length and cellular senescence. Moving on to a favorite of mine, vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, it plays a crucial role in maintaining bone health and calcium metabolism, which are vital for preventing age-related bone disorders like osteoporosis. 
Adequate levels of vitamin D are linked to a reduced risk of chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease and certain cancers, which are significant factors in mortality and also in aging. Remember, the vitamin D is not a vitamin, it's a hormone. So like testosterone and estrogen, it's vital we keep our levels up in the sufficient range. Vitamin D is also critical for immune system function and maintaining optimal levels may help in reducing the incidence of autoimmune diseases, diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis, and potentially infectious diseases such as coronavirus and influenza, more commonly known as the flu. The flu, if severe enough, can lead to serious complications like pneumonia and bronchitis. Reducing these autoimmune and infection risks can contribute to a healthier and a longer life. Then we've got a supplement that I've seen quite a lot of on YouTube, but I didn't think would make the list, and that's spermidine. It's a naturally occurring polymine found in various foods and has garnered much attention for its potential longevity benefits. It's believed to promote autophagy, a cellular process where cells remove and recycle their damaged components, which is critical for cellular rejuvenation and potentially slowing down the aging process. If these damaged or dead cells are not removed through apoptosis and autophagy, they then become senescent. Studies, primarily in model organisms, suggest that spermidine supplementation may extend lifespan, improve cardiovascular health, and enhance cognitive function, indicating its potential as a therapeutic agent in boosting longevity and fighting age-related diseases. If potent enough, this may negate the need for senolytics, such as physidin and quercetin, as there will be far less or preferably no zombie cells left to attack. Next, we have one certainly for the future, and that's astaxanthin. It's a powerful antioxidant found in certain marine plants and also animals. It's noted for its potential longevity benefits due to its exceptional ability to neutralize free radicals and reduce oxidative stress. This reduction in oxidative stress is critical for slowing down the aging process. It can help mitigate the damage to cells and tissues that often lead to chronic diseases associated with aging, such as heart disease and neurodegenerative disorders. And for those who believe to be young on the inside, you have to look young on the outside. Astaxanthin has been shown to improve skin elasticity and reduce the appearance of aging signs. It also promotes eye health and supports the body's immune function. All of these benefits together can contribute to a healthier, potentially longer lifespan. Also, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to upload a more detailed, dedicated benefits of astaxanthin video. Once again, AI disobeyed me and chose a drug over a supplement. This time, it chose rapamycin. This was originally developed as an immune suppressant for transplant patients, but has recently gained significant interest in the field of aging due to its potential longevity benefits. It works by inhibiting the mTOR pathway, which is a central regulator of cell growth and metabolism. And this inhibition is thought to mimic the life-extending effects of calorific restriction. That said, the jury is still out on how much we need to inhibit this mTOR pathway to boost our longevity. Studies that to date have mostly been in animal models have shown that rapamycin can extend lifespan and that it can improve immune function. It can also reduce the occurrence of age-related diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and cognitive decline, suggesting its potential as a groundbreaking anti-aging therapy. Again, not a whole lot of human studies, but Brian Johnson has enough confidence in it that he takes 30 milligrams twice a week in an effort to turn back his biological clock. So that's the top 10, but after correlating all the results, number 11 was so close to number 10 that I think it deserves an honorable mention and we shall see in 2024 if I'm right. Obviously, you can let me know right now in the comments below if you think I should have included it. So the final supplement that I want you to keep your eyes open for in 2024 and I shall look to is taurine. It's an amino acid found abundantly in many tissues and has shown enormous potential for promoting longevity through various biological mechanisms. Its role in supporting cardiovascular health is particularly notable as taurine helps regulate blood pressure and heart function, potentially reducing the risk of heart disease, a major factor in age-related mortality. Additionally, 
Taurine exhibits antioxidant properties, protecting cells from oxidative stress, and has been linked to improved metabolic health and reduced inflammation, all of which are beneficial in slowing down the aging process and therefore extending our lifespan and hopefully our health span too. And remember, if you're going to buy longevity supplements, please ensure you buy from a reputable dealer that conducts third-party testing. The big three, as we now know them, carry the majority of the supplements that I've mentioned so far. And if you do buy from them, they all offer a discount of between 10 and 15% if you use the code MYNMN at checkout. And there are links to these companies' websites in the description below. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you're looking to add or to change your longevity stack in 2024, I hope you found it helpful too. Let me know in the comment section below how you thought AI did with this prediction, anything you think they should not have mentioned on the list, or more importantly, anything that you think they obviously missed. As always, I'd love to see your comments. Now, most people would have clicked off the video by now, so this question is for those of you who thankfully have stayed to the end. So 2024 may be a big year for NMN, and I've spoken with a few people who have watched my NMN Skeptics video. We spoke about Brad Stansfield's default position on NMN in that he says there's not enough evidence that it does anything more than raise NAD levels. We then spoke about the FDA's decision to remove NMN from the market, which led to then asking the question, why would a company trying to make it a drug want it taken off the market as a supplement? Now, this particular company has been evaluating NMN for years. They put a lot of time, effort, and more importantly, a lot of money into it. But they've only released a few results so far showing things like NMN increases NAD levels in the blood, which we all know. But is that all they've been assessing? I doubt very much that's all they've looked at over the last few years. So what have they found, but they have not shared and may not share until they can confirm that NMN is off the market as a supplement and is then a drug. And then they'll say, this is what we found and we will sell it to you for a massive profit. Let me know what you think about this particular conspiracy theory in the comment section below.